to the audience now. Ella has a question that I know she wants to ask Sharon about. Ella, what would you like to ask her? Hi, this is my daughter's bedroom, and I want to uh, know how can I utilize the the two the two windows that I have there uh, better. Okay, so there are windows there somewhere, probably just to in get a different a sense picture. Of the room, we've got the dresser across the one way with a with a with a little TV mm -hmm. that she'll be happy to see that I have a better idea for her, and um, <laughs> and the bed, and then this is the awkward dormer window that I can totally understand. Oh. What do you do with that? Like it's very narrow, it's very small, and it, but it's long. Like right. you've got a long way to go. So um, just as one, and I guess with that large piece in the middle, mm -hmm. I thought, okay, you know what, how do we deal with that? It's almost like having bulkheads, but they're right, they're down, they're vertical bulkheads. But that's right. a great space. Isn't that a great space? You can do some good challenge. stuff with that. And it's a big space. So yes. at least if it's a small space like that, you absolutely have to try and use that. But in your case, you can, you can decorate. You can make an extra little fun place. Yeah. So I thought it would be kind of nice to make little window seats because it, it is kind of cute and quiet and intimate back there. So it could be with or without storage. Um, looking around, I know, um, I'm not sure how old your daughter is, but um, you know I'm probably much older and my kids are much younger, but we need lots of storage, so yeah. you can never have enough storage. That's true. So I would throw in like a couple of drawers in the bottom, put a nice comfy seat, and make it really cozy, um, put, little, put little rugs, play with the symmetry. But then I thought on that actual um, wall that separates it, make it more functional. I couldn't tell what it was. It might have been a fireplace, which might have its own function. Then maybe is put it a some, fireplace? It's a fireplace. Yeah, it's a fireplace. So maybe put some of those lovely um, uh, poofs like Yannick had in his set. Maybe put those in the front mm. so you can sort of sit there and put a rug. Or I thought you could put a little makeup desk or a little area where a you've got vanity. your mirror. Make a little vanity, exactly. Mm -hmm. And then over um, where the bed's sort of coming out here, you've got the dresser. I would just make it a nice long, narrow, low dresser, something like from Ikea, something maybe shiny, more modern looking. Yeah. And then put a flat screen TV on there and the oh. wall, oh. wall mounted. Oh. You know, just put things out. So I thought that would be kind of a, a, a fun um, way. Oh, and she was also talking about an accent color. Okay. And I thought with um, with what I saw, there's something in the red family. I love rosy apple. If you do rosy apple in like a matte finish, like an aura matte, it, it's just it's luscious. Like it's just yeah. really really nice. And I would maybe put that behind the bed. As an as a feature, and then this little area here, you know, you could do something fun. Maybe she wants to get involved and do a stencil pattern or like a nice large chevron pattern, something mm -hmm. large with oh, that'd paint. Be nice. I think that would be really it would be nice and fun that she could do it herself. I that would is a good rich color. I space as a bathroom. Ah! I don't know. <laughs> what? I, I just had a, an idea. You want to be a bathroom? There you go. This would she be like an open ensuite. bathroom, like a hotel. It like would be a ensuite. good bathroom, but then would she sleep in the tub? What she would she could. do? <laughs> <laughs> could sleep in the tub. She gets the bed to herself. That is a good, no, that is a great, great space. Idea. fun it's space for her. Yeah. It's going to be I wish lovely. that was my master bedroom. I know. No kidding. I know. Great time. More coming up.